everybody, it's Eva here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new Sims 4 speed build. That's one day late actually, because uh, last night, so it's 6 p.m. on a Wednesday, so typically the time and day that I upload a new video on YouTube, the Sims 4 My Wedding Stories game pack released and I obviously wanted to build something with that new pack for you guys as soon as I could so I thought why wait a whole week um, before I can show you some content with this new pack when I can do it the next day. So yeah I postponed yesterday's video to today but I hope you guys will enjoy this one because like I said it's the new pack, there's a lot of new items and it's a no CC build for once which is very very rare these days. <laughs> but for me the main selling point of this pack was honestly the world. So this pack comes with a new world called Tartosa which is like Mediterranean inspired. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm in love with this world. I had a look at some of the lots and I am absolutely obsessed. They're beautiful. They're exactly what we needed in The Sims. Um, I've been wanting a Mediterranean world for so 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 long and everything that I usually built in Sulani never fits in with what I actually wanted it to look like so this world is so 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 cool and I'm very very excited to have a Mediterranean inspired world in The Sims 4 now. I unfortunately instantly had to delete the big 50 by 50 lot which um, I'm building on right now because we are building a big romantic wedding venue um, and where else other than the 50 by 50 and the lighting on this lot is beautiful, absolutely stunning and such gorgeous views off the sea and everything and the little village in the front, um, absolutely stunning and I'm so excited to build this here. Um, I decided to build a also like Mediterranean and Italian inspired wedding venue but I'm in no shape or form an expert and I obviously wanted to make use of the new items because there are some new windows and doors and um, some roof decorations as well that kind of add to this Mediterranean vibe. Um, and obviously lots of wedding items and I at first wasn't too keen on these like items in the pack but then when I saw them in game um, they do look really really pretty. I mean some of them are a bit questionable but um, <laughs> most of them are really really nice and actually look really cute on this wedding menu and because I wanted to make sure that your sims can celebrate the perfect wedding ceremony here um, you have everything that you should need hopefully on this lot to create a perfect wedding. Um, so there is is this the building part um, of this build which includes a disco, a bar and obviously toilets <laughs> and a suite upstairs where your sims can kind of get ready, um, you know your, your married couple can have their honeymoon there or they can get ready before the wedding there um, and then outside which is like the main focus of this build for me are all the other cute wedding details and events pieces and parts that you could need. So we have obviously the walking down the aisle with the wedding arch and lots and lots of chairs which apparently now your sims should all sit down at the same time. I haven't tried out any gameplay yet so I can't report. I've heard and seen it's very very buggy especially in the early access versions. I saw it was very very buggy but I didn't have time to try out the gameplay yet because I instantly hopped into build mode um, to build this cute wedding venue for you guys um, and yeah stay down up way too late to try and make this happen but yeah hopefully hopefully you will like it um and you will enjoy this video and enjoy seeing the new world and the new items and everything and hopefully get into the romantic wedding spirit and you know let your sims have a beautiful wedding um and if you do enjoy watching this video and if you are liking how this build looks and everything then please give this video a thumbs up down below and also subscribe to my channel if you're new around here that would really mean a lot to me um but yeah i completely drifted off um of what i was going to say because i wanted to tell you what other things we have outside so we have obviously like i said the walking down the aisle bit we have a piano which is so beautiful it's also from the new pack and it's really really pretty um, love all the detail and all the objects, not gonna lie, like the, the chairs with the little flowers on the back, um, it's just really cute um, and um, those are like 
nestled inside the the walls and ruins of this build um, with lots of ivy and white flowers growing on them like it's really romantic and dreamy and I really love the variety of wedding arches that we get because you can create any kind of wedding whether it be like beach or rustic or forest or um, modern you can do pretty much anything because there's so many options which I think is great and they are really cute and detailed and I couldn't decide which one to use but I went for the um, one with the beautiful draping on it um, with some flowers as well so yeah I really like all these like wedding specific items I'm not sure how versatile they will be in a normal non-wedding build but you know time will tell and then we have a beautiful beautiful fountain that also comes with a new pack and also the kind of dining setup um with lots of tables for the guests and also a table just for the wedding couple um specifically and yeah i, I decorated that if you're wondering i added some place settings to this because you can't really place the place settings from the build mode the swatches are always like default swatches and i didn't like the default swatches so i wanted um a different color so yeah my sim is like running around and everybody's going wild on this lot because the lot was set as a wedding menu and all the sims just went haywire and just ran around and occupied the lot which was really annoying but you know it's the sims um but yeah that is that part and then in the other corner there is also a cute little like seating nook under a pergola and also obviously the cake and the drinks like tea there's a bucket of champagne that you can apparently do toasts with um i didn't bother bringing an actual cake so it's it's just a default cake from the debug menu but apparently there are lots and lots of options so um yeah you can go wild and i saw all the little wedding cake toppers they're really really cute and there's plenty of them so there's clearly a lot of choice um in that regard if the game is bug free enough and lets you plan a wedding uh, unlike in plumbella's early access video where <laughs> it just wouldn't even plan a wedding so yeah, I, I will delve into the gameplay at some point this week, probably, um, because I'm actually really excited for this. Um, I do like um, micromanaging tasks, <laughs> like going all around and having to organize the entire wedding and stuff. I think that's really fun. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll work. And something I did for this lot is I went full out on landscaping. I absolutely went crazy with it um, and put so many plants everywhere so I wanted the entire like outside exterior part to be framed a little bit so it's not just like out there in the open and you have no idea what is going on really so um yeah the 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 main wall that I built to the side obviously is framing it and then there's a fence which is a new fence in the new pack and then we have some flowers um all around the front and then obviously I couldn't resist but um, put those classic Mediterranean trees um, all around the lot so it feels really authentic and the new pack comes with a new tree as well which looks very uh, Mediterranean so perfect for this world honestly and for the flowers I mostly used um, the flowers from the romantic garden stuff pack because they were honestly perfect the texture in them is so good i really enjoy how they look and they come in such beautiful um whites and they just they they're really really pretty and i had plenty of fun with that <laughs> that's why there's so much landscaping and also it's a big lot so i didn't want it to look too lost on this um big 50 by 50 and also there's a little car park on the side uh, which i thought would add a cute little detail as well because there is a new car in the debug actually for this pack which is very exciting Thing. and then yeah like I said on the inside there is the dance floor with another piano um, and there are some toilets on the side and then the the bar so you can go in there for drinks as well but I think the the bucket of champagne also works as a bar I'm not 100% sure but um, yeah there is a bar in there um, and then up the stairs there is the suite so in that suite I wanted it to be very traditional like Italian villa kind of style um, but at the same time quite light and modern and also a cute little bathtub moment um, where you can like I said just get ready or relax for the honeymoon so yeah there's everything that your heart desires um, on this lot and yeah I really hope you guys like this like I said um, if you did enjoy this video then please leave a like and subscribe and maybe leave a cute little comment as well um, there is the tour still coming up of the entire build where you 
see it a bit more in detail. And yeah, that is it for today. Um, let me know if you are getting or have gotten a new pack as well and whether your sims are enjoying their weddings already. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you again next Wednesday with a brand new speed build in this new world. Bye!